Hey guys, this is Unix and welcome to the very first episode of the How to Play series. In this episode, we are going to be talking about Rygo Stone of the Earthshaker. Earthshaker is a melee strength hero who is commonly played as a roaming support or offlaner, but can also be played as a mid laner if needed. He is well known for his ganking potential with the ability to chain stun enemies and block them with fissures, and his powerful teamfight presence with his ultimate ability Echo Slam, which deals very high damage to enemies if they have many summons, illusions, or they are to group together. Fissure is a spell that stuns and damages enemy units in a line, while also creating an obstacle that lasts for 8 seconds and blocks both allies and enemies alike. Fissure can be used to block creeps in the laning stage or block enemy heroes so they can't retreat back to their towers. In teamfights, it can be used to stun or finish off fleeing enemies from afar thanks to its long cast range. It can also be used to isolate enemies from their allies or save your allies from enemies who are chasing them. Just make sure not to misplace the fissure as a misplaced fissure does more harm than good to your teammates. And since fissure has a long cast animation, you can use the stop command S to cancel the spell if you think the fissure is not gonna hit or block enemies the way you want it to. Although fissure blocks enemies, there are abilities that allow units to ignore it. These include spells like Firefly, Arctic Burn, Spectral Dagger, Charge of Darkness, Blink, Pounce, Force, etc. Enchant Totem when cast gives a buff that increases Earthshaker's base damage by 400% for his next attack. You can use the bonus damage of Enchant Totem to last hit, deny, push towers, and one shot couriers. It also has True Strike, so you can use it to counter spells like Tinker's Laser or Windrunner's Windrun. The Enchant Totem buff lasts longer than its cooldown, meaning you can use it prior to a fight and use it again in the fight twice back to back to deal burst damage. Also like Fisher, Enchant Totem has a long cast animation, meaning it can be also cancelled by using the stop command if needed. Enchant Totem only increases Earthshaker's base damage and the damage gained by his primary attribute strength, meaning raw damage from items like Rapier does not get multiplied. Enchant Totem also doesn't stack with the double damage rune. Aftershock is a passive ability that adds a stun and extra damage whenever Earthshaker casts one of his abilities. The stun of Aftershock does not stack with the stun of Fissure, and both Enchant Totem and Echo Slam doesn't have a stun on their own, and the stun that they have is from Aftershock. This makes it an ability that should be skilled at least once prior to level 6 and never skilled at level 1. You can use Enchant Totem to proc Aftershock to last hit and harass enemies at the same time. This is the ability that allows Earthshaker to chain stun enemies for extended periods of time. Echo Slam is an ability that deals a flat amount of damage in AoE and adds extra damage per each unit hit by it. All units hit by Echo Slam will each release a single echo that damages nearby units, while heroes release two echoes each. However, illusions only release one echo. Also, Echo Slam affects invisible units and units in the fog of war. And unlike Kurtzeker's other abilities, Echo Slam has an instant cast animation, meaning it can't be cancelled with stop command, but it's great for initiative fights as it gives little or no time for enemies to dodge its damage. There are two main ways to play Earthshaker. The first way is to play him as a spellcaster, the second way is to play him as a physical damage dealer. The skill build for a spellcaster Earthshaker is as follows. With this build, Earthshaker is suited for initiating and teamfighting by casting his spells to stun enemies or fissure blocking them and casting Echo Slam if enemies ever group up. This type of Earthshaker only requires a little farm and only needs a blink dagger to be effective and therefore can be played as a roaming support or an offlaner when going for this build. And since you're playing in a support role, the starting items would look something like this. And if you want, you can swap out some of the mangoes and branches for support items like Korea and wards if needed. And these are the recommended items for a spellcaster Earthshaker. The skill build for a physical damage Earthshaker is as follows. With this build, Earthshaker is suited to gank and pick off enemies one by one, mainly utilizing the bonus damage of Enchant Totem to burst down single targets and using Echo Slam and Fissure for team fights. 
This type of Earthshaker requires a lot of farm to be effective and therefore have to be played as a mid laner or off laner when going for this build. And since you are playing in a core role, the starting items would look something like this. And these are the recommended items for a physical damage Earthshaker. Earthshaker's talents are as follows. For level 10 you have either 250 mana or 30 damage. The 250 mana is great for casting spells more often, making it a good choice when playing the spellcaster Earthshaker. And the 30 damage is good on a core Earthshaker to further increase his ability to burst down lone targets. However, keep in mind that this damage is raw damage and is not multiplied by Enchanter. For level 15 you have either plus 7 armor or plus 30 movement speed. The plus 7 armor is not that great for a level 15 talent, but it's a okay choice if you are facing a lot of enemies with high physical damage. However, the 30 movement speed is always great on Earthshaker as he is a hero who depends a lot on positioning to make the most out of his abilities, making it a solid choice for any game. For level 20 you have either plus 400 Fisher cast range or plus 50 echo damage. The plus 400 Fisher cast range is not needed as Fisher already has a high cast range anyway and you don't really need that much cast range on the spell. The plus 50 echo damage is a great talent as it greatly increases the damage output of echo slam allowing echo slam to scale into the late game. For level 25 you have either minus 2 second totem cooldown or plus 50% magic resistance. The minus 2 second totem cooldown is good for chain stunning enemies with aftershock and when combined with Aghanim Scepter increases Earthshaker's mobility greatly. The plus 50% magic resistance is situationally good against enemies who have high magic damage output. Earthshaker works well with heroes who can clump up enemies for him to land his Echo Slam like Darkseer, Axe, Tidehunter, Magnus and Enigma. He also works well with heroes who can benefit from his disables and fight without being hindered by his fissure blocks like Slark, Rikimaru, Phantom Assassin, Anti-Mage and Spectre. He also works well with heroes who have high damage output but not much disables which Earthshaker can provide with like Morphling, Ursa, Drow Ranger, Enchantress and Juggernaut. Earthshaker is good against heroes who have a lot of summons or illusions so they produce a lot of echoes when he uses Echo Slam. Heroes like Phantom Lancer, Nature's Prophet, Naga Siren, Broodmother and Wraith King. He's also good against heroes who are slippery but vulnerable to getting disabled and chain stunned by his abilities like Windrunner, Weaver, Earth Spirit, Dark Willow and Clings. He's also great against heroes with channeled abilities that can be easily interrupted by his long cast range fissure like Enigma, Witch Doctor, Pugna, Pudge and Warlock. Urchik is bad against heroes who can jump on him and kill him before he can get his spells off like Clockwork, Bounty Hunter, Tusker, Spectre and Legion Commander. He's also bad against heroes who tend to stay back in fights and avoid clumping up with their team like Zeus, Sniper, Warlock, Invoker and Techies. And heroes with spell immunity silencers or long cast range spells that disable his blink dagger from afar like Lifestealer, Juggernaut, Silencer, Draw Ranger and Zeus. Well, thank you for making it to the end of the video. I hope you learned something new about Earthshaker in this guide that will help you in your future games with Earthshaker. If you like this video and want to see more of this series, subscribe to my channel, leave a like and share this video with your friends. And turn on notifications so you would get notified whenever I post a new video. And comment down below which hero you would like me to talk about in the next episode in how to play series. Also while you are down there, feel free to comment and leave suggestions for future videos so I can make better videos for you guys in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.